Deadpool didn't just shake up the status quo for action adventures starring guys in capes. It went the extra mile and set a lot of cinematic precedents, some of them quite subtly, if you can believe it. This is how Deadpool changed movies, and you barely noticed. Deadpool's marketing is basically a movie's worth of entertainment in and of itself. Seriously, from Mother's Day gags to billboards that shouldn't exist, the folks behind Deadpool pulled out all the stops to make sure the hype would be at its absolute peak by the time the superhero hit the big screen. What made it so special isn't just its excessive, over-the-top humor, but also its not-so-subtle meta slant. Befitting the character, Deadpool's marketing made sure to tap into fourth-wall-breaking territory, showcasing a degree of self-awareness that elated the meme generation. You're probably thinking, my boyfriend said this was a superhero movie. Well, surprise, this is actually, lucky you, a love story. This movie knew its target demographic so well that it transcended its own status, resulting in Deadpool's pre-release antics being shared as entertainment rather than advertising. This led to an unprecedented degree of organic word of mouth which likely played a huge role in Deadpool's debut as one of the biggest R-rated openings of all time. So what if Justice League has A-listers like The Flash, Aquaman, and Wonder Woman? No one cares about them or that movie. B-listers are the new hot property. After all, Deadpool was only as good as his red-suited Merc and his ensemble of backup dancers, which included beloved comic book characters like, uh, hang on, let us check our notes, Weasel and Negasonic Teenage Warhead. Negasonic Teenage, what the sh That's the coolest name ever! Oh yeah, neither of these were fan favorites. And while Colossus definitely has a following, it'd be a serious stretch to call him an A-lister. Really, the cast of this movie, from top to bottom, was as B-list or below as it got, and that's probably why it worked so well. Virtually none of these characters had to worry about living up to overwhelming audience expectations, meaning there was minimal pressure and maximum freedom to adapt them however would best suit the film. And that's exactly what Deadpool did, writing them smartly and entertainingly enough to fit within the film's universe while simultaneously maintaining their core comic book identities. For those reasons, the movie nailed building its own team of budget Avengers, effectively proving to Hollywood that you don't need an Iron Man or a Wonder Woman to produce a moneymaker loaded with franchise-starting characters. It's a big house. It's funny that I only ever see two of you. It's almost like the studio couldn't afford another X-Men. If there's one movie that shines as a prime example of what fans can accomplish when they band together to create buzz on the internet, it's Deadpool. If not for the leaked test footage, we might very well have never gotten a Deadpool solo movie at all. But Fox felt compelled to dish out $58 million, which isn't even all that much in superhero movie money, as a result of a lot of geeks on the internet screaming about how much they wanted some goofball in a red jumpsuit to shoot people and say bad words. What a time we live in. We all but sort of said at the beginning, someone should leak it, someone should leak it. So some, I, the, the idea was planned, but I'm 70% sure it wasn't me. Though we've yet to see another brave test footage leaker come out of the woodwork to make their hypothetical dream movie a studio-budgeted reality, it doesn't change the fact that the Deadpool situation and the response by Fox set a new precedent in the filmmaking world. When the internet speaks, it can make real change. In the old days, Hollywood was a gated kingdom where the true power brokers all wore suits and traded business cards. Moving forward, we now know another party has a voice at the decision-making table, the fans. It's just a matter of making enough noise. A lot of films fall into the trap of being overly sincere, or in more recent years, too self-aware. Movies like Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice showed us what can happen when a movie takes itself far too seriously. On the other end of the spectrum, if every other minute in the film is littered with self-referential dialogue, then there's no room whatsoever for real emotional investment by the audience. Deadpool, the first and best of its meta kind, showed that it's possible to be extremely self-aware but also legitimately emotional at the same time. Deadpool tied most of its fourth-wall-breaking antics to the main character's superhero alter ego so that whenever Wade and Vanessa were sharing an intimate, real beat, no cynical, self-deprecating humor would crop up and ruin the moment. Your life is officially way more f***ed up than mine. <laughs> I love you. It was a smart balancing move that ensured audiences would care about Wade and Vanessa's happiness and well-being while also being able to laugh at all of Deadpool's zany shenanigans. Prior to Deadpool, few thought that a movie loaded with CGI gunfights, throwdowns, and explosions could ever operate as a functional comedy. Guardians of the Galaxy was as close as any superhero film had come to achieving that, and even that movie veered more into action-adventure territory. 
Deadpool went for the guffaws right from its opening title sequence all the way till the very end of its credits. For the crowds who like raunchy Seth Rogen comedies and Seth MacFarlane's comedic fare, this movie fit the bill and felt more like a Marvel-flavored big-budget parody than an actual superhero movie. Deadpool's effects on the industry are readily apparent. It might have come out later that same year, but given the extensive reshoots Suicide Squad went through, one can venture a guess that the movie's sudden influx of meta-humor might have been the result of Deadpool's success. And just look at Shazam, another keenly self-aware superhero movie that, unlike its DCEU contemporaries, is actually, well, fun. Who's to say what kind of tone it would have aimed for without Deadpool to prove that a superhero movie doesn't have to be such a brooding, mopey affair? Do you like what you see? No. You look like an avocado. Had sex with an older, more disgusting avocado. Yeah. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.